Welcome back. So we managed to hack the Android device in the previous video. You saw that it isn't really practical unless the target really wants to download that application, but we will leave that on the side of a social engineering. We successfully hacked it using our payload. Now we want to see a different method that we can use in order to infect the Android device. Now to do this, there is one cool tool that we can download, which is called Evil Droid. It pretty much automates everything that we did in the previous video. For us, in case you're lazy, you can just run the Evil Droid tool and it will perform the payload creation, setting up of the server and all of that by itself. So let's see how that would work. If I go and open the Firefox and I simply just type Evil Droid in my search bar. So the first thing that should pop up should be a GitHub link. We want to click on that. And as usual, we want to download this tool through GitHub. In order to do that, we're going to copy the link. And once we copy the link, we want to go to our desktop and type git clone and then the link name. Press enter. This will download the tool for us. And once it downloads, we're going to check out what are the files that we get with this tool. So let's right away change the directory to this tool and type ls. So we have the changelog, we have the actual tool right here, we have something called icons, and that is something that we're going to check out later. We have readme.md and we have the tools right here. So I'm not sure if this evil droid is an executable file. Let's give it a try. It says permission denied. So it might actually require root privileges in order to run. Let's try it with sudo, so sudo and then evil droid, enter the root password, and it will tell us command not found. Let's first try to make this an executable. And if I type ls once again, now it changed colors, so let's try to run it with pseudo privileges. Once it starts, it will tell us checking for internet, it is connected, it will check for dependencies, and if there is anything or any tool that it needs, but that it couldn't find, it is going to install it by default. So you don't really have to do anything. As you can see, we are missing this AAPT and it is installing it for us. Let's wait for a few seconds in order for this to finish. And once it finishes, it should prompt you with this window right here that says execute framework and services. We want to click here, yes. And this will start the Apache 2 service for us and it will start the Postgres SQL service also for us. The Apache 2 is used in order to transfer the payload the same way that we did in the previous video and the Postgres is used in order to load the MSF console exploits and payloads faster. Once we click on that, it will lead us to the main menu. So we have a couple options right here. We have the option to create the application or the APK file with the MSF Venom, which is MSF. We have the option to backdoor APK original with the old method and to backdoor apk original with the new method. We can bypass antivirus apk with the help of icon change, but most of the Android devices don't even have an antivirus, so you can try this on your own just to see how it would look like with payload having the icon changed. After that, we can start the listener for our payload and we can clean all of the files that we created using the C command. So what we're going to try this time is we're going to just create the regular payload. It will automatically find our IP address and it will print it right here. We want to click on OK. Keep in mind that it also gives you your public IP address in case you want to actually infect the device over WAN. But this time we are still attacking a target inside of our local area network. So I'm just going to click on OK. The port, I'm going to type it to be 5555. And I'm going to name the payload evil apk. Let's just leave it on that and click on OK. Now the next option that it gives us is which type of payload we want to create. Keep in mind, all of these payloads are Android payloads, so you can just give it a try for each and every one of them. I'm just going to go with the regular Android Meterpreter reverse TCP, the same one that we used before. All of these others would work as well, so if you want to create another one, you can give it a try. Once you select the payload, click on OK. It will generate the payload and it will do all of these things automatically. 
once it creates the payload it will give us an update right here that apk payload was created under this location right here let's click on ok and after that it gives us an option to choose whether we want to start the multi-handler with msf console with the help of this tool it will do all of these things automatically so let's just click on ok it will load up our multi-handler and while it does that what we're going to do with the help of a second terminal is we're going to navigate back to the slash home slash mr hacker slash desktop then change to the evil droid application and here we're going to have our payload right in this directory so let's change it to evil apk type ls and here is our payload let's move the payload to our apache to web directory so sudo mv and then evil apk to the var ww slash html okay once that is done let's go back to our evil droid and here we can see that our multi-handler set up the reverse connection for us automatically let's go and download the payload we do it the same way that we did in the previous video and hopefully if we did everything correctly we should have a connection back inside of our msf console let's load the page let's refresh the page and here is our evil apk.apk .apk file let's run it we want to download it open it as usual we want to go through the steps and install the payload on the android device let's click on open and if we go back here is our meterpreter connection now let's give a try to the command that crashed our connection in the last video which is app underscore list and this time it actually works we can see a list of all of the applications that are installed on this android device and we can also use these other commands in order to run some of the applications in order to install or uninstall a certain application if we go and type for example check root it will tell us device is rooted but of course this is just a virtual machine and you can test all of these commands also on an android device in case you have one nonetheless we performed a second way of attacking the target and in the next video we're going to see an advanced way of tricking the user into installing our application we're going to inject our payload into another application and make it execute that way